hi and welcome back to the channel my name is Leto for those who don't know me and today we have a really cool episode for you where I uh, will be adapting vintage lenses to the new Canon R. Let's get into it. Lesoho and I own a 55mm f1.2, um, we have an 85mm and we have a 24mm uh, which we are adapting to, to the Canon R and we are using um, a RF to FD mount because we will be adapting FD lenses um, which are kind of like the old Canon lenses which will be quite interesting you know the old meets the new and I think the first thing you, you really need to have is a good adapter, something that will secure quite nicely with the camera. Um, and the one we're using is called, I think, a Velo, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and yeah, man, it wasn't too expensive. Um, I think try not to cheap out too much on the adapter. If you can just find a nice solid adapter, um, it really does help kind of give you a really solid mount to the camera. 
So let's start with the advantages of of having or using uh, vintage lenses on your newer camera. And I think the big one that we will kick off with is the cost. They they are much cheaper to purchase than the newer lenses. And yeah, I think you can really build a beautiful set for the price of one lens, especially if you find some really well maintained ones without a lot of fungus. So that's something to really consider is the cost. And secondly, I think how they render the image is, is quite special and unique in terms of how it renders the bokeh. Um, they're not clinically sharp, which just adds like that charm about uh, vintage lenses, you know, they're not like super perfect. And I think that adds an element to the images that you create with them. And they're compact, you know, they're very small lenses. You tend to find them like at a really smaller size than uh, what you'd have on the, on, on the newer lenses. And you can really build out a beautiful set of, of, of these primes if you want to actually go that route for, for, for next to nothing. So I think that's, that for me was some of the big advantages of adapting uh, these lenses to a newer camera. Now for the disadvantages of uh, vintage lenses um, and I think let's kick it off with the lack of autofocus uh, especially if you're a beginner and you're not used to racking focus yourself it can be quite tricky at first but I think with some of the focus assist tools in these cameras or these newer cameras it is much easier um, but yeah autofocus is quite a big thing you you'll have to I pull focus manually which a lot of people tend to feel uncomfortable with and secondly a lot of these lenses that you will find are or can be duds uh, there's some really bad ones that do have fungus or because of their age don't really work as well anymore so that's something to definitely uh, consider and look out for and a lot of them don't have the newer coating coatings like the newer lenses so they are prone to flare a bit more, but I guess uh, if that's not what you're looking for, then yeah, that will be a disadvantage for you. But I know some people do like how these vintage lenses do flare because that's quite a, a big ca characteristic about them. And I think lastly, you will work much slower, you know, um, and I did touch on it with the autofocus and because there's a lack of autofocus, and you're pulling manual focus um, focus manually you will tend to be slower um, you won't be as quick and snappy you won't be able to capture movement as quickly as you would with with autofocus so that's definitely something to consider when you're working with vintage lenses uh, that pretty much wraps up this episode on uh, vintage lenses uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed this content and comment below and definitely consider subscribing. It really goes a long way for the channel. Uh, and a big shout out to Precious and Hoitzi. Uh, without them, it wouldn't have been possible. So follow them on the socials uh, and just tell them how amazing they are. And don't forget to follow us on the social as well. Um, I'll link everyone's uh, handles below. Uh, and yeah, man, uh, we'll definitely see you on the next one. And thanks for tuning in.